Are your flip cups more like flop cups? <laughs> Are your wrecked rings just, well, wrecked? <sighs> well, we have the solution for you. And that's the Fluid Art Experience. Here in Dallas, Texas, on November the 12th and November the 13th, you have the opportunity to be live and in person with one of your five favorite YouTube artists. Come learn some tips techniques and everything you need to know to replicate some beautiful art, you'll be taking away art with you and you also have the opportunity to come and join us at a Texan barbecue and a question and answer session. So why don't you go and log on right now at www.fluidartexperience.com and see what all the fun is about. We'll hopefully see you soon. Hello everyone! Hey guys! And welcome to a very special episode of Massey Art Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And today we are double dutch pouring. We are. We are. So one of the techniques that we're going to be showcasing at the Fluid Art Experience, which is this week by the way, Friday and Saturday, <laughs> craziness. Um, in the Massey Art Studio classes we're doing paint grenades and leaky cups and dustpan ring pours. And Dutch pours. And Dutch pours. So we're going to show you a couple of really funky, fun Dutch pours here on the channel, using different colour bases but the same colours yes. to create two different kind of compositions. Yes, exactly. And I'm sure we'll do different compositions on the canvas. Yes. Because we always do. So um, please come and watch us pour some funky Dutch pours. What is there to tell you? So. If you can't make it to the Fluid Art Experience, but you do have some time in November and you do want to learn firsthand some classes, then please consider that Mixed Media Girl, or Marcy, is doing a course here in Texas, right in between us and Thanksgiving. Yeah. So she's not only doing a painting tutorial, she's also doing the art of business, or the business of art. So you can learn all about SEO and marketing and how to sell paintings and set up websites and stuff. Super, super valuable. Yes. So please consider going checking that out. The Leaky Cup is still available at www.massyartstudio.com. Please check that out. And we now ship to Canada. That is it. That's amazing. There's no point in us telling you about the Fluid Art Experience because there's only three days left before the event. So if you haven't already <laughs> booked, you're probably a little too late. But let's get to pouring some really wonderful Dutch pours instead. Yes, let's get to the table. We'll see you at the table. Hey guys, it's Jeremy here and I'm super excited about this Dutch board that we're doing today. You are? I, I can't remember the last time you did one. It's a I long know, time ago. A long time ago and I'm really, I'm really excited about it. Um, I have a 14 by 18 inch canvas. I love this size canvas. I do love this size mm. canvas. It's great. It has been taped and pinned on the back. And this is from Jerry's Artorama. It's an edge canvas, so it's an yes. inch and a half deep. They're a good yes. one. This is mm -hmm. a really great canvas. I like it. Um, the colors that we're using today are this permanent red violet by Amsterdam. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, sir. I like that one a lot. We have also olive green deep. Ooh. Maybe a little unusual next to that one, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, also, we have the Deco Arts 24 karat gold. Thank you. Staple here, Massey Art Studios. Um, we have turquoise blue. Ooh, by it. Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. We have uh, this greenish blue by Amsterdam, which I absolutely love. It's this. such a nice color. It is. And then we have Pearl Glacier Blue by Arteza. And the only one that isn't there is because we've just used it all. Yes, is the Amsterdam Pearl White. Exactly. Yes. Now you've got it as a base coat and I've got it as an actual color. So yes. it's going to be used in a couple of different ways. Yes. So we're both Dutch pouring but we're going to use different base coats. Yes. And I feel that we might actually use different techniques. You think? I think so, we'll see. All right, well, we'll see. I'm gonna see what you do, and then I'll tell you if mine's a different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm gonna to get to flood my canvas, uh -huh. and, uh, and then we will start pouring. So I'm gonna tell you whilst you do that, people's yes. at home, that this is our Dutch pour consistency, which if you've seen episode number 54, which is our recipe episode. That means that this is 50% Floetrol, 
it's 25% water and it's 25% paint. Now you saw that the majority of these paints are all Amsterdam's, which is great when you're doing a Dutch pour because it means the consistencies can all be pretty much very similar. Yeah. Your pearls are normally a little thinner, your metallics are normally a little thinner, but the trick with this pour and probably nine out of the 10 pours that you'll do is that you really need to get the consistencies right. Yes. All right, guys, so I'm loving this. I'm gonna go ahead and start to layering my little colors. And have you decided which hairdryer you're using yet? You know what? That's a good question. You've got a choice of pinky or the normal one. I think I'm gonna use pinky because this mm -hmm. is a smaller canvas, so. Okay. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. All right, we'll see, I might use both. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Controversial. <laughs> Controversial. All right, I'm gonna start out with this green. Now I put these in paper cups for you so you can pinch a little kind of spout yeah. if you like. Now whenever you and I both do Dutch pours together, I don't yes. put enough paint on and you put too much. <laughs> We've got to do the Goldilocks and find that just right. I know. I was a little worried about that green but now I see it next to that blue. I am not worried mm. at all. No. And this is the turquoise blue going on next. Which has a tendency to take over, so. That's the pearl blue yes. by Arteza. Love that glacier. All right, I think I'm done. I think you're done too. I think yes. that's a beautiful thick line of color there. I think so too. So you're using pinky? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, I got pinky here. I am ready to do this. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about how you're gonna blow out this wonderful composition? <laughs> I think I'm gonna start right here. Right. Go this way and then go, come back and go this way okay. with it all the way Perfect. across. Perfect, all right, go for yeah. it. Wow. Pretty pretty. Yes. I could see you were holding your breath the whole time. I was, I was. I was totally holding my breath. Why but don't I'm you, loving the cells I got. Why don't you torch it real quick because you might get some more. Yeah. So we've got a new canister on the old flamethrower. Thank you, Mina and HOA, for Torchy. Yes. That lasted us like seven months. I know. It's great. It lasted forever. I am loving this, it's you guys. It's pretty. Oh, I think it's great. I'm loving this, that red that popped up through here. Mm -hmm. And that green, you can see it like in a couple of places. Like, it's it's really pretty. It's a really nice, like, khaki olive green. I, I it like is. it a lot. It is. It mm is. -hmm. You're going to see it a lot more on my port in a second. Oh, my gosh. I just love this. I absolutely love this. So there's my Dutch pours, guys. I hope you like it. He's gonna clean up his edges and then we're gonna take you in for a close up. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Let's do it.
Well, hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Imagine finding you at the table. Well, I'm here with you. Um, so I said in Jeremy's pour that you'll see a lot more of the green, and this is why. So um, I've taken that beautiful Amsterdam dark green, mixed it with a bit of pearl, mixed it with a bit of white, and that's gonna be my base coat. So whereas Jeremy did that beautiful pearl white base, I'm gonna go for a green base with this one. Do it. I love a multicolor base on a Dutch pour, like that orange one that I did with the gold in it is one of my favorite Dutch pours ever. Yeah. It sold at a recent auction and it was stunning. But I'm gonna use exactly the same colors. And just like with Jeremy, these colors are mixed to the same consistency, which is 50% Floetrol, it is 25% paint, and it's 25% water. So it is a nice runny consistency. Now I am going to, instead of using the spatula, I'm going to pour my paints on here and then we're going to tilt this one down. So this is the lovely green base coat that I'm going to use to layer my colours on top of and I love it actually, I think it's a really really pretty green. So let's get layering the colours onto this canvas. Now I'm going to do slightly different composition than the one that Jeremy did, but I'm going to start with the green that doesn't have any white in it and you can clearly see the difference between the two. So that's the two greens. The green base coat was this green, but just out with white yeah, in it. Yeah, the pearl white. Yeah. Now some blue. It's got like some this. dark blue on here. You like this composition? Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, I just dropped. Okay, I'll say that. Thank you for pointing that out, Jeremy. And we'll go back over that in a second with the with the base coat green, because I don't think I'll get that far with the blowout. I really like that red. I do too, but I just don't want too much of it. That's what I thought too, but like... But it only came through in pops. Yeah. Oh, so I went over it again. I scared myself that time. And then I'm going to put a little bit of pearl white in on top. I don't think my problem this time around is going to be not having enough paint. Right. I feel like I've got in, I've, I feel like I've got a lot of paint on here, but we will see. So just dabbing off those little drips. All right, so that's my composition down. And just like Jeremy, I'm going to go this way first and then blow this one out second. I'm also going to use pinky because I think got it's it. the perfect size for this little canvas too. So here she is. This was a gift from Mina Villegas. I think Sarah Mack used one of these in the first time, so that's where we got this from. All right, people, let's blow this Dutch pour out. So there you have it, folks. Oh my goodness, I love it. Consistency is key with a Dutch it pour. Is. That 50% flow troll, 25% water, 25% paint. For most of the like level two kind of paints just works a treat. It's actually Canela Siraco's original recipe and I've spoken to her about it many times and it's worked really well on this pour. I'm not gonna futz with this one anymore. I like the way that the gold is selling. I like the way that the petals have kind of, you know, happened through the blowout. Mm. So I'm gonna keep this one exactly as it is. It's beautiful. These are two real quick little pours, but 
to what I think is successful Dutch pours. Absolutely. And if you come and see us at the Fluid Art Experience, which is happening this week, this is just one of the techniques that we're going to be showing you in the event. Yes. So um, I'm also going to scrape my edges and then I'm going to take you in for a close up. Thank you guys. So there you have it folks. There you have it. Double Dutch <laughs> Paws. So big boy, what did you think of your Dutch Paw? I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought the composition on it was great. I thought it opened up nicely. Um, it had some great feathering on the leaves, uh, mm -hmm. some beautiful cells. Okay. I really loved it. I would say that it's been a long time since you've done a Dutch Paw. Yes, it um, has. And it was actually one of the very first Paws that we both did. Yeah, um, And I thought it was probably one of your best. Oh, thank you. I really liked it. It was stunning. Um, and I looked, liked your pearl white background. Oh, thank you. You wanted to really showcase the colors. Yeah, I loved your background. Thank you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. It was a really lovely shade of green once we added that white yeah. to the olive deep from Amsterdam. I was a little concerned to be I, honest. I, I really was. I you was, say that I about like, my base coats, but sometimes nine times out of ten they turn out okay. They turn out amazing, yeah. There's a one out of ten that they're terrible. <laughs> um, I really like this too. I liked the composition. There wasn't too much paint. There was just enough paint. The paint consistency was spot on. 50% yeah. flow troll, 25% paint, 25% water. And um, yeah, great cells from the 24 hour carat gold. Yeah. Lovely, I really enjoyed this. I'm glad you did. You are gonna get the chance to see us do this firsthand if you've booked one of our classes. So hopefully we'll get to see you and show you this one just this week. Yeah. Very much excited for that indeed. Um, yeah, anything to say? If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. Keeps us all hyped up and going. And you can see we're already pretty hyped. <laughs> um, if every two people that are watching this episode right now is only one of you that subscribed, so please do consider it. It doesn't cost you a bean, but it really helps us grow the channel. And that's what we're trying to do. Yes. Um, I've got nothing else to say other than it's Tuesday night. The girls are all arriving tomorrow for the Fluid Art Experience. It's going to be a fun week for oh us. Oh gosh, full house, full house. Full house indeed. We hope you all have a great week this week too. We've got our episode on Friday, episode on Sunday. Sunday may well be alive. Uh oh. So keep your eye on the channel yes. while you know what's going on. All right guys, that's it. Yeah. Have a great evening everyone. Thank you for being here with us on the premiere. And we'll see you on Friday for another fun part. See you on Friday guys. Bye. Bye. So we want to take a moment to spank, spank. <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> Larry. We want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. And so, with a change of venue... What? I know. <laughs> we've got some very special people that we have to thank. Yes. And that is our gold Massey Posse. That's Trisha West, Jane Klein, Stephanie Hancock, Donna Patterson, Terry Leshner, Gloria Salaki, it's Nate Bright, it's Linda Serien, Crafty Chicken Mom, it's Rebecca Hawes Winters, Patsy Petrilli, it's Tammy Houdsbrook, it's Kelly Stowell, and it's Gillian Barnett. 
Now with the platinum level, it's Leslie Beaver, Janice and Steve Pittman, Donna Panis, Dana Foxley, Elaine Burton, Susan Shepperson, and Robin Koza. And you all know her, we all love her. At the diamond <laughs> level, there's only one person, yes. and that is Sparkles. Sparkles. So to you guys and to everyone else that, whose names that you'll see here listed below, thank you so very much. We yes. absolutely love that you're here with us on this journey, and we're gonna keep pouring. Yes. Thank you guys. Bye guys.